today we are going to discuss how to select a file which we learned in our part 15 we will again use this how to select the file from the folder then draw a pie chart now pie chart is a circular shape chart it totals the number for instance in this excel sheet we have got income class less than 10,000, 10,000 to 15,000, 15,000 to 20,000, 20 to 25, more than 25. The numbers have been given. Now these numbers, they are total numbers are 1600. So this will divide every cell with 1600. For instance, 350 into divided by 1600 so this will give you this and then it will multiply it by 360 so in a circle there are 360 degrees based on every cells degrees it will frame a circle then we will learn how to draw the labels for each because we want that for each class there should be a number then there should be a percentage we will learn today many a times the students have raised the question that every time you will have to write the program no you need not write the program every every time you can simply save these programs as a files or executive files later on we will discuss how to make the executive files because these files if they are saved in Jupyter you can change them at any time you can improve it you can add on the things so there is nothing to worry with that these uh, numbers with these programs you will have to write time and again you can write it save it once then you can go and improve it let us go to Anaconda, then uh, launch the editor Jupyter. And in the Jupyter, I have already started the Python 3. Here, uh, against this, is not trusted against this. There are many, many things are there. For instance, if here, here you can select it. Say, when the Jupyter starts, you can upload new or you can start python 3 when you start python 3 it will come like this now last time we we learned that we are going to import tkinter so this will help us to select the browse the folder and select the file but the window which is created should be destroyed should be closed immediately then after that we will select the which column because see this income class numbers are there now here we can have the other things also against this class the numbers should be as per this class so let us start so we have written the commands import tk enter as tk import pandas as pd import matplotlib pyplot as plt which will help us to draw the pie chart but this pandas also can help us the pie chart but the commands will bit bit later bit changed the import tk enter import ttk import other things also so file dialog will help us to select the file from the folder i'll just run it if there is any issue okay now it has already run i have written win is equal to tk win geometry 500 to 500 we can increase it 700 we can make it 700 also there is no issue 720 
fp is an array where the file dialog dot ask open file name ask open file name will be there and it will select the file which you uh, it will save the file which you are selecting and then immediately after three seconds the bin which we have created that window that will be destroyed then the df panda will read the excel file of fp which is saved there and you can run it and it will show you the df file let us run it we are going to select the file excel jks3 i have where i which the file which i show you the file which i show now this file has same file excel file has come down now we don't need uh, df we don't need but we want the columns income class and number so there may be many more columns for which you want to uh, draw the pie chart but uh, it will ask you we we will uh, it will ask you which uh, what is your choice and what is your class so then it will label everything so i have written the commands which we learnt in part 10 columns is equal to df dot columns to list so that will you can write down the columns or there is no need for writing this for count value now all the columns will be counted the start will be from one and then it will print count and value now what is the length of the columns that is m then we have got another variable a input you can write down any a b c d whatever you want to write a is input class which class you want then it will ask you what is your choice which call this thing now explode i will discuss it later on explode means that one of the one of the piece from the uh, pie chart will be out which is which you can um, create it as if it's a separate from the other parts of the this then we have got if zero if uh, in, uh, in, uh, the same thing which we used in part 10 11 13 uh, this number is if it is less than or equal to m or greater than zero then it is z will be columns in number minus one p will be columns this a which you have created that will be integer a column a minus 1 p is columns a minus integer a minus 1 so it will first print your choice z it will print your choice as z and then you have to then it will draw the pie chart pie chart of what the z which is the column which you have created that will be there now what will be the labels labels will be this this p columns integer a minus one whatever the number is there that is number class you have selected that will be minus one why we are doing minus one because indexing starts from zero print your choice is z and then you are to create the pie chart with the uh, with labels will be dfp explodes we are uh, we are not going to do this at this time and then it will print the percentages auto pct auto percentages what is that this is percentage one before the decimal and after the decimal how many uh, how many numbers you want and then percentages shadow is true strangle is strangle means the the axis which you are going to draw draw so that will be 140 plt title title will be your columns columns whatever columns you have got selected and plt show the elif elif if your number is greater than m it means you have no choice it will be out let us run this program and I will repeat the commands again and I will also write the new commands in the description box. Run. It is asking me which file you want. I will say Excel JKS3. Open it. 
then it will ask me what is your class class is naturally my income class so this is my income class then it's asking you what is the second number number is two see i have got only two columns in this but do you but you can have many many more columns so you can select that particular column but pie chart works only with one column it cannot work on all the columns one column so your choice so you are this one is there these are the your columns income class and number and these labels have been have come from the these labels have come from the column number 1 that is income class and then it is a percentage 13 1 1.13 1.2 21.9% 12.5% 9.4% 25% now these are the 1 2 3 4 5 so you can draw explode now i told you that explode here you can define explode explode is equal to 0.1 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 so here i can write it here as explode is equal to explode so this way there there let us see if it works run it will select the file excel gps3 1 so now this number 21.9% which is there this has come out so this this we will learn somewhere how we can get the highest of the number outside so that we will say this you can explode it you can work on this now auto psd we have taken it up only uh, one uh, decimal you can take two decimals also three decimal but if you total this this will come as 100 here so everything is fine now so you can run see you can run with the other files also let us say at let us say i select a file say i select test 4 now i ask the this i was the class which class you want i want the class number uh 2 and what you want age now they do not match and they are not one to one they are not one to one so there will be a problem test 4 will ask me which class i say i want age and then if i say i want height it will not work now it will show you see it has shown the all this this will be in the form of this because it is showing for every age it is it can't group so this is not the proper way Uh, we can run again with excel jks3 and then class 1 and my choice is number 2 so this is coming this is the way we can create the pie chart with the numbers thanks for watching we in the next video we will try to find out other types of visualizations the advanced lab Now, such things can also be seen with other softwares excel spss they are good but you uh, user interface you can change it here in python that's the benefit that you can change the commands yourself if you if you require something okay if you don't require Thanks for watching. Wait for the next video.
you may submit your research work at journal of global economy rcssindia.org your work is evaluated by peers with double blind methodology you will get comments for your work thank you